Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Atypical Security Guard, coming to you with today's debrief. Today, I wanna to go over the top five benefits of getting into armed security at the end of 2020 and going into 2021. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button. If you're getting any benefit from the content that I'm uh, uploading, please make sure to share that with fellow guards or anybody that could possibly benefit. I truly appreciate it. So let's get right into it. Number five has got to be the low barrier of entry. Right now, people are losing their jobs at an alarming rate and the difficulty to make money and provide for your family is out of control. So if you don't have a degree, if you don't have a lot of experience, getting into security is a great way for you to not only stay employed, but actually bring home a pretty decent check. One of the benefits of being in the middle of a global pandemic and a lot of civil unrest is everybody wants their stuff protected, whether that's uh, private businesses, mom and pop shops, or, or big chains. So getting into security, either armed or unarmed, uh, has a very low barrier of entry in terms of your prior experience or education, and you can probably uh, find employment and stay employed for the foreseeable future, unfortunately and fortunately. Number four has to be the network. So being involved in security, you're really that bottom rung of law enforcement. You're gonna be interacting with people in loss prevention if you're working in retail, or you're gonna be dealing with uh, various levels of police officers depending on where you're working or what you're doing. And if you're in armed security, um, you know, like myself, we, we do executive protection for newscasters. We're working the protest. Uh, I've worked at banks and, and my point is this right now as we are in this position where our, our society uh, is kind of teetering and depending on where you're living you have different levels of social unrest having a network of people that are connected whether that's in law enforcement uh, the medical field um, you know having access to people that have ammunition or just things that you need um, it, it really can't be overstated how important that is to have those connections. So, you know, just working the door, just having access to people in, in some of these high positions where when you're working security, you're seeing them every day, that really can go a long way when things start to fall. Number three, in my opinion, has to be um, an understanding of what's happening, right? This kind of piggybacks off of number four with that network, but just being able to talk to people who are in the know, right? So one of the locations that I work at um, is a, a retail chain uh, of grocery stores. So having a, an understanding of that supply chain of when things are gonna be in and having access to uh, food and toilet paper and water and, and just kind of knowing when things are gonna be coming in, uh, when I can have access to those things. And again, knowing people like the manager, the director, and, and having a direct line of communication with those people because you're working with them every day. That really can go a long way in terms of, of you being able to provide and prepare your own family and take care of your own situations and be aware of things before other people. Number two, access to information on firearms and ammunition. We have to be completely transparent. And if you're not watching or reading the tea leaves and understanding how dangerous our current climate is, you're really being irresponsible. So understanding and knowing uh, if you're if you're in armed security or if you're in security in any way or any capacity having access to firearms or people that have access to firearms and also having access to ammunition we've all seen the issues with trying to find ammunition in 2020 that's probably not going to get better in 2021 so knowing people that know people that can help you get access to firearms and ammunition could again be absolutely invaluable Number one for me really hits home and is really personal. I have not ever been a gun guy and I really haven't taken preparedness or uh, social awareness or of things that are going on seriously up until I got back into security over the last six months. Uh, being in Portland, being around social unrest, 
Uh, being in a situation where I'm always on and having to be aware of things has really awakened me and opened my eyes to a lot of things that I was really naive about. So for me, one of the best benefits of being in security and in this line of work is what it's done for my awareness of my surroundings and the things that I need to do in terms of preparing my family. I really took for granted how dangerous protests could be, how dangerous uprising can be, civil unrest, all of those things. But now working in that capacity, I'm keenly aware and I cannot tell you guys how blessed I feel really to be in these positions and these situations to see firsthand things that I had only seen online on social media and now understand how important that is moving forward. Those are my top five benefits of being in security at the end of 2020 and going in 2021. I hope you guys are being safe. And again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be great.